All right, we have the integral from 2 to infinity, x plus 1 over the root of x to the fourth minus x. So the plus 1 in the numerator together with the minus x in the denominator will give you something that is smaller, I mean uh, bigger, sorry, something that is bigger than if they weren't there. Um, let's see here. Okay, so if the minus x wasn't there, I'm sorry, that's to the fourth. Um, if the minus x wasn't there, and the plus one wasn't there, then the entire fraction would be x over the root of x to the fourth. By removing the minus x, having a um, um, having a uh, the minus x makes your denominator smaller, in turn making the whole thing bigger. The plus one makes your numerator bigger, in turn making the whole thing bigger. And so what you have is bigger than if they weren't there, which reduces to be x over x squared for our x's that are positive, and um, that's 1 over x. So the function that you were given is bigger, the bigger one we call f of x, the function that you were given is bigger than 1 over x. And we'll call that g of x. The integral from 2 to infinity on the g of x Is um, is infinite. It's divergent, right? It's uh, natural log of x from from two to infinity. Uh, it's the limit as b goes off to infinity. The natural log of x from two to b. And so it is the natural log of b minus the natural log of 2 as b goes off to infinity. And that's infinite. And so because the integral of 1 over x is divergent, then we can conclude that using the direct comparison, um, since you are bigger than a function that has infinite area, then you have no choice but to also have infinite area. And so, by the direct comparison test, the integral that you have will also diverge. Since it is bigger than an integral, bigger than a function that has infinite area, it had no choice but to also have infinite area.